Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. So we can see we've got a right angle triangle here. The symbol at Q shows us that. And we've been given one side and an angle, and we want to find one of the other sides. So that means we must be using trigonometry. It can't be Pythagoras, because to use Pythagoras theorem, we'd need to be given two sides, and then we could find the third side. Whenever an angle is involved, we need to use trigonometry. So if right angle triangle trigonometry is being used, that means we need to use either the fact that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, or that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, or that tangent is opposite over adjacent. And now we look at the triangle, and it's always best to label the longest side first, that's the side opposite the right angle, so that's going to be the side that's not touching the right angle, so that's the side of 12 centimetres, so that's our hypotenuse. And the other side involved here is the side that we want to find, so that's side QR. So that's the opposite side because it's opposite the angle that we've been given, the angle of 58. The other side, PQ, would be the adjacent side because it's touching the angle. But if we just look at those two sides, then it will show what we want to use here. So we've got O and H involved, so opposite and hypotenuse. So we want to use the sine ratio. So we know that the sine of angle 58 is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So in this triangle, that means it's side QR divided by the hypotenuse, which is 12. And then we just need to rearrange this to make QR the subject. So we've got that QR divided by 12 is sine 58. So multiplying both sides by 12 gives us that QR is going to be equal to 12 times the sine of 58 degrees. And then we can just key that into our calculator. So all we need to do is to check that we are in degree mode, check that we've got the D showing up rather than a G or an R, and then we simply key in 12 sine 58. So we've got 12 sine 58. Now you can see there's an open bracket there, so strictly speaking you should put the close bracket in, but if all we're doing is just finding 12 sine 58, we can just do equals. So we found that QR is equal to 10.17 something or other. And because we've been asked to give the side to three significant figures, the fourth figure along will round up the previous one because it's more than five. So we're going to get 10.2 and the units are centimetres, and we want to write that that's to three significant figures. And we would check that that's a sensible answer. So looking at the original triangle, the hypotenuse is 12 centimetres, and that's the longest side. So the other two sides have got to be shorter than that. And we can see that QR is going to be longer than PQ. So, for example, we got a, um, a value like 2 or something like that, we'd know that that couldn't possibly be the right answer. So it does seem to be a reasonable answer to get just over 10, given that the hypotenuse is 12 and the opposite angle is 58 degrees.